Hey guys, what up? Kyle here. Um, as most gamers know, uh, GameStop is on its way out. Finally. Well, that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, but they brought it on themselves. Uh, they totally did that. And right now everybody, it seems to be popular uh, to uh, uh, bang on GameStop. So I thought I'd share one of my stories uh, with GameStop. Um... Let me start by saying, though, been a gamer for a long time, since NES days. Uh, I buy all the systems when they come out, buy a ton of games. Uh, uh, love games. Uh, have so many I need to finish yet, and this summer is going to be crazy for awesome games coming out. But anyway, this was back uh, when the Xbox One first came out. I went to GameStop, grabbed my Xbox One, manager was working. Uh, I got the Xbox One, an extra controller, and a couple of games. And then went home, hooked it up, uh, opened the extra controller, and while I was fiddling around with the extra controller, noticed that the right trigger, when you pushed it down, it didn't pop all the way back up. It's like, oh man, this sucks, because uh, GameStop's 16 miles away, uh, but I had to take care of it that day, that's just the type of person I am, especially when it comes to something, you know, brand new like that, like brand, brand new. So I drove back to GameStop, manager's still there. Explain the situation to him, and this is where things went left. Uh, now, I should also say I shopped at the GameStop all the time. He knew me. He knew the kind of customer that I was. Uh, the amount of money that I spent in that store. I uh, never returned anything. Uh, never gave anybody any crap. I was the type of customer to walk in. I already knew, know, and knew what I wanted. Uh, I would go in, buy something, and then leave. I didn't want to sit there and chat it up or anything. So he knew all of this, but he sat there and insinuated passive aggressively that I'd done something to the controller. Uh, he stated that there was that uh, he just couldn't believe that a brand new controller out of the box wouldn't work. I was like, dude, it happens all the time. There's all there's all kinds of stuff uh, that gets damaged in shipping or uh, isn't properly put together. Who knows? There's you open stuff, it doesn't work. It, I mean, it happens. Uh, and it should have ended right there, especially, like I said, knowing the type of customer I was, or for that matter, any customer. You know, somebody comes in with the, with the receipt and the item and says that it's defective, you should just say, oh, sorry about that, let me hook you up. But not this guy, not this guy. So, I'm starting to get angry, because, I, number one, I don't like uh, my word questioned, especially over something like that. Something as piddly as that. I just bought the system, games, controller, like, yeah, I'm trying to scam you. That's exactly what I'm doing. I don't got anything better to do, like, sit there and play this Xbox that I was all excited about. That excitement would be short-lived. But anyway, so, he's like, okay, well, you know, I gotta help these other people here because they were here first. Okay, understand that, whatever. Sit there while he rings up, like, four customers, you know. So... He grabs a new controller off the wall, and this is what he does. And this really, really made me mad. He starts to open it. And I go, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Well, this is the controller I'm going to give you, but I'm going to open it first to make sure that there's nothing wrong with it. You know, since it seems that you have that kind of luck. I was like, dude, no. And so I was like, if you open that controller, I am not taking that controller. He's like, well, why not? You see it's brand new. And I was like, no, once you open it, that controller is not new. It's just like the shitty thing you do with the games that you open, and then you put their cases out there, and then you try and pass them off as new. That's not a new product. It's an opened product. I'm not going to take an open product. And he's like, well, I just want to make sure that you don't have any issues. And I was like, I won't have any issues. Give me one off the wall, and I'll be on my way. And so finally, after sitting there and debating with him, he, got, he grabs one off the wall, rings up the return transaction. It took forever. Uh, you'd think that he did. This is a store manager, and he'd managed GameStop as long as I'd been going there, which was like 12, 13 years. So, I mean, it, it, you'd think he knew what he, was, uh, what he was doing. And, I mean, I was livid. I was livid. I, and after I left, the angrier I got, you know. And I called uh, their customer service line. And the next day, district manager calls me, and I explain the situation to him. Do you know what he tells me? He says, oh, yeah, we've had our share of complaints about this guy. He tends to rub people the wrong way. And I'll admit, he kind of was a coarse guy. I mean, 
uh, not the friendliest, but I mean, I'm not the friendliest either, you know, and I'm just in there buying games. I don't want to know his life story or anything. So as long as you sell me the game, leave, I don't care what you act like, but I'm like, okay, so you've had repeated complaints about this guy's attitude towards customers and you haven't done anything. Well, I, I will give the district manager this. He was really cool offering me gift cards and, uh, uh, well, what, what can we do to make it right? What we, and I will admit he worked hard, but it wasn't even about that. You know, I didn't take a gift card. I'll say that. I didn't take anything from him. I was like, it's not about that. I didn't want anything. I wanted something to be said to that manager because, like I said, I was in that store all the time. He knew exactly the type of customer that I was. And that I'd never, I'd never tried to scam or anything like that before. So why all of a sudden would I do that? It, it was just the principle. <laughs> I hate to use that word. The principle of the matter, damn it. But really, that's what it was. And <laughs> I don't often take stands, but when I do, it's got to be about the damn video games. So, but I, I was just so angry. And uh, I told him I wasn't going. I was like, I'm done with you guys. I mean, there are all kinds I've had problems with GameStop before. If you guys want to hear more stories, I got a ton of GameStop stories. Um, just let me know in the comments. Uh, I was like, I'm done. I'm not shopping at GameStop anymore. I wish I could have stuck to my guns on that one. But it seems in a little while I'm not going to have a choice anyway. So, But that was one of the, one of the things that really irked me. There's a lot more. So... Um, I'm going to try to uh, try and keep these videos going. Uh, it's going to be random up in here. It's going to be crazy random. I'm going to uh, tell little stories like this. You know, you never know what you're going to get. I'm going to do toy reviews uh, of figures that I get. I'm going to do uh, video game reviews, movie reviews. Uh, I might just be bitching about my drive to work. Just really whatever, uh, whatever I feel like going into. So if something like that sounds cool to you, hit like. Hit subscribe, share this video, that would be awesome, and I'll check you guys later. Boop!